Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a simple but delicious recipe for crescent roll breakfast pizza. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need a pound of cooked breakfast sausage. And the one thing I really like about this recipe is that you can prep for most things the day before. So I actually cooked up this breakfast sausage last night and I drained it and I stuck it in the fridge, so there it is. And then I am also using some bacon. I've got some shredded hash browns here that I did thaw out overnight and made sure that all the water was gone for it from it, excuse me, and then I have some shredded cheddar cheese. Now I shredded my own cheese from a block. Um, I prefer when I am um, making casseroles and things like that to shred my own cheese because the pre-shredded cheese has a coating on it and it doesn't melt as well. You are also going to need some crescent rolls. Now I am using the Grand's crescent rolls. You do not have to use Grand's. Regular crescent rolls will work too. And then you are going to need some eggs. So if you wanna see how this all comes together, stay tuned. So I have popped open my crescent rolls and I am going to start assembling the crust. And I have a 12 inch pizza pan here and mine has a little bit of a ridge and I did slightly um, or lightly I should say I did lightly spray it with a little bit of cooking spray not too heavy so I'm just gonna unroll these little crescent rolls and I am going to assemble them with the points or the tips facing in and it doesn't have to be perfect. So here it is. In real time, that took me less than five minutes. I will say that the dough does get a little bit sticky on your hands. So if you wanted to lightly coat your hands in some butter or some cooking spray to make it easier, uh, you can do that too. But my hands were a little sticky, so I had to go run and wash my hands real quick. Next thing I'm going to do is sprinkle on my sausage. I'm just using a regular uh, breakfast sausage. Um, you could use a hot breakfast sausage if you wanted, or turkey turkey sausage, whatever is your preference. Next, you're gonna add your hash browns. And like I said, I did thaw out my hash browns and made sure that I drained out any excess water. Next, got some bacon. Now my cheese. And you can use any kind of cheese you want. Um, I am using Colby Jack. That's what I had on hand. Mozzarella would be good. Cheddar would be good. Swiss, anything. And if I didn't mention it before, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the comments. And the next thing you're gonna do is carefully pour your scrambled or beaten eggs, I should say, over your pizza. So I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in for about half an hour, but I'm gonna check on it periodically. And when I pull it out of the oven, I'll show you guys how it turned out. So I ended up baking this at 350 for about 27 minutes. And then I have had this cooling on my counter for about five minutes so that the eggs can continue to set. 
Um, as you can see around my edges, they got really golden brown. And that's because I left some of my crescent roll dough exposed. If you don't want those dark edges, just make sure that you um, cover it with all of the toppings. So I am going to cut a slice of this pizza so you guys can see what the inside looks like. So I cut the pizza so you could see the inside and here it is. You can see all the different layers in there and then the bottom of it is nice and golden brown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.